If you have a smartwatch, you probably know about many of its features that can help you to get more active, track your sleep, even monitor your blood pressure. But what if this device on your wrist could actually save your life? For the record, mine's not that fancy. <laughs> Doctors, though, say it did just that for a woman in Somerset County. New Center Maine's Carly Dion shares her story. Kim Durkee enjoys her quiet life at home in Solon with her dog, Bentley. But one night in late May, she was woken up in the middle of the night not by Bentley, but from a vibration of her Apple Watch. So the message basically said something to the effect of, you are in a resting state, but we've noticed AFib. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular rapid heartbeat which increases risk of stroke or heart failure. This message suggesting Durkee go to an emergency room or contact her doctor. So the first time I went, and I didn't feel anything, so I'm like, that's a fluke thing. And then it did it two more times, about an hour apart. I didn't think too much of it because I don't have any illnesses, so I didn't feel anything. It happened four times the following night and again the night after that. So she went to the ER. And when I walked in, the doctor said, oh, what brings you in here? You know, because I look pretty healthy like I do now. And I said, my watch told me I have AFib. Durkee says an echocardiogram led to the discovery of a myxoma tumor in her heart. She says doctors tell her it's rare, serious, and grows quickly. Within a month of that first ER visit, Durkee had the open heart surgery in Boston and is now recovering at home, still wondering what if. I asked Dr. Osho in Boston who did the surgery, and I also asked my doctor up here when I went for a checkup, and they both said the same thing. I probably would have had a massive stroke, and they would have just said she died, and they never would have known I had the myxoma. She means a lot to me. Durkee's younger brother Dana says their family was scared to death, but so thankful for the outcome, acknowledging how easy it is to brush off a seemingly insignificant sign of concern. She would do the same thing I would have done. She would have put it off, just saying it's old age, it's this, it's that. And in three months, within three months, they're saying something deadly was probably going to happen. Dana and other friends and family all chipping in to help Turkey out as she recovers. We're just grateful Kim is here. Turkey says seeing her family rally around her, another reminder of just how lucky she is and a major lesson learned. If your body talks to you or your watch talks to you, listen to it. In Solon, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine.